YouTube channel. All right, guys, we are in Pueblo, Colorado today, and it is another track day ahead of us with probably a little bit of driving because after Pueblo today, we are supposed to be going to Bandemir in Denver, Colorado for our last track day. And uh, hopefully today at the track, we can really knock some stuff out early and then get some of our drive done today because tomorrow we have to drive and race. So if we can get a little bit ahead of the game tonight, we'll be in good shape. But right now we're heading to the auto parts store just to buy a flare tool because Ruby's got a leaking brake line and we got a big mountain drive ahead of us. So we definitely don't want to get up in the mountains and have James and George not have brakes and Ruby. So it'll be bad. Yeah. So we're gonna get these brakes fixed up on Ruby and uh, then we're also gonna hit uh, Walmart, maybe buy ourselves a kayak, do some white water rafting, which uh, gets me fired up. Let's go. Brent and I are excited. We're going to get a two-seater this time. Yeah. All right, guys, so we got a little bit of regular maintenance going on. James had a leaky brake line. Uh, we had a we had a bolt that stripped on our rear shock, so Brent's just fixing that up real quick. And then Cooper is working hard. What do you got, Coop? I, I bought a hat. Damn. Uh, is that a real diamond plate? Yes, it is real plastic diamond plate. Is it bulletproof? Maybe. <laughs> and Uncle Chad has something. Yeah, freaking George is over here super clean. And uh, we'll be back on the road to Walmart in a minute. All right, folks. So we actually have found a sporting goods store because we went to Walmart and their selection of kayaks was terrible. And, you know, it's just too hot. We need to get more than just one guy in the kayak or canoe or whatever we end up with. So we go in here and find something. Fire me up, dude. We can whitewater. Raft in that yeah, well, thing. that's a raft. That is a raft. I, I think we go raft because then we can actually go like yeah. legitimately yeah. rafting. Legitimately. Dude, that looks just <laughs> like Alex. Dude. Look at it. It, <laughs> it does look like Alex. The track. Look at the uh, the pump and everything though. Yeah, that's, how about this? Each team pick their own boat. All right. Each team pick their Chris, own boat. Cool. Okay. All right, you guys, yeah. you guys pick your boat, yeah. and we each need life jackets, and we're having a race. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, we got the uh, Intex Explorer 300. Not bad. James and George go. They went with this one, the the Solstice, oh, the, Solstice. the kit, the one that with, with Alec on the front. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. we got Alec, and then yeah. uh, we got this one for Boots Kyle and, and Amelia. They didn't have paddles, so we got them two noodles. All the rest have paddles. <laughs> and then Brett and I went with a Challenger two, and we also got uh, Jamie's team a Challenger two. But we got yep. Brent and Amelia, or we got Amelia and Kyle <laughs> and the noodles. <laughs> Jackets, pals, and then uh, yeah, I got Kyle's team. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's me and the oh, This is you and Emilio. <laughs> and we got, so we got you guys, me and my son. Noodles. We got you paddles, too. No, I didn't pick paddles. <laughs> I the big so, you guys are, the and they, they were out of the good ones. So, what's that's, in here, dude? Look how small this thing is. There's a whole boat in there. So that's all you get, bro. One child and one <laughs> Just be happy six. we got you a boat, bro. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. Uh, I ain't never had a friend buy me a boat. <laughs> For ages six years old, bro. Six plus. No, Look at them. A tiny boat. <laughs> You're six. <Simpson. laughs> hey, so, like my boat. tomorrow, my we'll see you on the mountain. Okay, we're gonna find a spot. We got life jackets. We're pulling over and we're gonna run it four wide. Right? We got four boats. Yeah, I think we have. Yeah. No, we have five boats. We have five boats we'll be running. All right, you guys are going to love this. So, Brent and I haven't opened the intercooler tank since we got here. We're going to be we're gonna be real with you guys. We haven't iced the car a single time. But it was hot because we just drove here. So, we are like, let's toss the bag of ice in it. Toss the bag of ice in it. Flip the switch on. Intercooler pump hasn't even been working this whole time. <laughs> this whole time it's been broken. So, the wire was just chilling in there. Could have happened on the way here. Could have happened 
a month ago. I honestly don't know. I haven't checked it in so long. So uh, we're just fixing that up really quick. Super easy fix and might actually just pick up time just by having the intercooler working. I had the switch on. I just didn't have a functioning pump. Brent and I are so confident in our cardboard building abilities. We got permission to run with the roof on. Do you think it'll stay? Um, will it stay on the vehicle? Yes. Will it be in the same shape it is right now? Probably. Really? I worry more about the sides than the roof. No, we already ran with those on. Oh, you do? Yeah, those are, uh, those are, they create a vortex behind us. Yeah. All right, Brent, we're good to run with the roof on. All right. Because we're low on duct tape, so we don't want to have to cut off tape it again. I was like, you know what? I'll go ask. Okay, guys, so what we ended up doing is running our wire through the vent line because this bulkhead is so damaged so we'll be connecting our 12 volts right here right to this wire which will go through the vent line come out in the tank so that the lid still seals and we'll be good to go good to have some water flow through the uh intercooler you know it's nice to have especially when you're driving we were wondering because the car started running a little bit hotter than it was i mean the car's been running kind of hot all week and I think that might have something to do with it because we have all of our intake air temp just going through a heater core essentially. Yeah. Eh, yeah with much. no heat exchanger, no flow, no nothing. He agrees. He says turn it up. I know. Let's, let's give it up for the roof. Yeah. <laughs> you guys killed it. Oh, dude. Hell yeah. One and done, baby. All we said this morning was anything with an eight. Uh, you know, so far we haven't done any real maintenance on the car. 
So we're just, we're just stoked. Hey, I saw you clean your windshield once. I cleaned the window. So I mean, the thing is, guys, we gotta take it. As much as I want to go so much faster, because eight seven seems so slow to me. It's just we have to take it. We're in the lead after day four still. We'll see Leroy again in Bandemir. Hey, you go run a freaking eight five, buddy. All right, guys. So we're here at Pueblo. About to make her first pass at Ruby. Lear just went out there, one and done it. Like an 870 something. I'm gonna come out here and try to do the same. 853 or better this first pass will be huge. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's see what she does. thing we have a spare can you, can you shake around the carnage for me george shoot every bolt see what we got that ain't good ain't too good you guys remember last year we had bolts backing out at this point in the trip and that's how we broke our torque tube because bandamir was our fourth track we're on our fourth track right now every single axle bolt on Leroy was loose. We tightened them this morning, got here to the track, and they were loose after my pass because I heard some clunking. So we just Loctited. We put a whole bunch of Loctite on all the axle bolts. Right now, we just have to go through the whole car. George did find some loose axle bolts on this side of Ruby, and I'll bet you there are some loose ones on the driver's side, and that's what just cost us the axle because the axle was actually all right. The bolts broke. This is it. So I two stuck uh, studs that were two bolts that were shoot that are tight. So Matt, the guy runs the events like, hey, if any racer needs a weld, I have one with me in my trailer. So Perfect. Like, it clicked, I was like, you know what? Let me just weld some nuts to these, get on a wrench, hopefully get them out, and then uh, we can put it back together. Okay, what about another nut? We can do it in front of it. Got one already? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi. Yeah, not bad for dropping it. I screwed up. <laughs> this is wild. You never get recruited to a NASCAR team on something like that. <laughs> you guys see him drop that socket? <laughs> so right now, James and George are trying to get finished up, and then uh, we'll be on our way. I think they're I think they're having some luck though. They're getting the sheared bolts out. We got other bolts, the axle's fine, so they should be able to run that axle still. We do have spares, but uh just letting them work. Hey, you're He's over here convincing He's himself. He's hyping himself yeah, yeah. up. <laughs> I thought it would be hotter today. You know what I mean? Really cooled off. Really cooled off once the pool came out. Oh, this is nice. James, how's it going? Over there. Really glad I brought this ice bath on this not a very hot day. But I feel like I'm doing like one of those sports training things. You know, we're on chance, we're on the road. I need this. This is really, really cool. You gotta try it, bro. What do you think of the pool, Brent? I mean, oh, that ain't a two person. Whoa. No, it ain't. Oh, there you go. Really enjoying life over here. How you feel? Ready to make a pass. Back together. What all did you fix? 
Uh, well, I had to pull the hub out of the diff because it's sure all the bolts. Yep. Didn't really have the room. I thought it would be time efficient enough to leave it in the car to try to get them out. So three bolts ripped it right out over right there, welded some nuts to the studs that were left, and then I uh, was able to spin them off with yep. a wrench instead of having to sit there and drill them in a track. Yep. Yep. Got them all off, got them back together with a new axle. The axle didn't break, it was just the bolts, but went out with a new axle in anyways, locked out of the bolts, got it down tight, tried to make it fast. Uh, go get them, boys. You can tell it's different than the 240 because the 240 would have been eight minutes. Yeah. <laughs> James. <laughs> hey, George, James, y'all are doing great. Keep it up. better it's got to have been faster 11 12 hell yeah that is a great sit seat on the uh on the board there 11 12 snarky if you're watching this justin bmp really think you guys might want to donate this car to your boy he seems to be a real expert no i'm just kidding rebecca's still much better of a driver in this car than me all right guys so it's getting a little bit later in the day but movie's fixed she's going for a rip we really need this to work out we really need this pass hopefully everything in the drive train's okay with a nine and you're still at an 856 average yeah so i mean i just want to make sure the car's good before yeah. we just let's go drive 200 miles kind of deal. i know but 
are you so are you good for the night though or are you gonna run again or take it i mean i i calculated the other guy's average who's second and he's got an 863. so i mean did he make another pass yeah he went at 855. that's with his new time so i mean he's at a 63 yard at 56 for him to get down to your number it's almost impossible. If you run another 61 or even a 70, you still win. Yeah. All right, guys, what's the verdict? Woo! That's, right. that's what you're gonna do? You're gonna take it? That's my driver, dude. Can't keep him under control. All right, so taking a 61, ripping a do. That's what I'm talking about. So we came here. We broke. Yep. We fixed it. We overcame. And what is 61? We had some transmission issues, but you looked over the car, what'd you find? They really see anything that stuck out. I mean, uh, I'm still on the fence about maybe doing a drain and fill in the trans just to give it you know, some fresh, fresh fluid. Yeah. 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 Plus also pulling, you know, drain of the fluid. If there is any clutch material or anything in the pan, it'll show. You know, yep. the dipstick just touches the top. Of the pan, so. yep. But it, it smells good, looks clean on the stick, and yeah. it's still good. Cool. So also if I'm changing the other axle. Yeah, and I also was thinking of just for the sake of it, maybe putting the new axle on the other side too. Yeah. Just in case it's like an internal cup issue or inside that other end. Yeah, I know you heard a clunk. Yeah, it was making a clunking noise, so just for a peace of mind almost. Was it still making it after the pass? Yeah. Finish her up, get her back in street mode, and let's hit the streets. Hit the streets, buddy. All right, guys, that's it for today. It's been a little stressful, but uh, we made it through. Leroy and Ruby seem to be drivable, but uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. New for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. One day left.